Hi guys, my name is Gia, and hi, I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. Welcome. If you guys know me, you know that I'm a vegan bodybuilder. Body On Instagram, you guys asked me to share what it's like when I travel, um, how I manage my food, my workouts, my day, that kind of thing. The last trip I had, guys, I wasn't preparing for a bodybuilding show, um, and that's the content that I'm going to show you now. I hope it's helpful because I still do go through my considerations. I'm still kind of tracking my macronutrients and getting my workouts in. Um, the difference with preparing for a bodybuilding show and not preparing, for, not being close to a bodybuilding show, is that I um, am less finicky when I'm not near a bodybuilding show. Um, when I'm closer to bodybuilding show, I'm very spot on with my macronutrients and my workouts. I also have an IGTV video, guys, for a trip that I had when I was preparing for a bodybuilding show. I'll link that down in the description box below. But if you guys have any questions, you know, just put it in the comments. Let me know. I'm always happy to answer any curiosities you guys have. Alright guys, I hope this content is helpful. Let's get started. Hey guys, so let me show you. This is protein cookies that I made before I travel because I always bring my own source of protein and I try not to have just protein powders because I love to chew my food. And then this is some lemon bread that I made, but I made it with less water. This video is in my YouTube channel or the recipe is in my YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. So I have those foods ready with me. I also have a bunch of Cliff Bars that I got from the airport. I also bought pretzels, has a source of carbs. On the plane, I had dried mangoes and something else. Oh, pop chips. Oh, and in the airport, I also got um, <laughs> three servings of kale salad. Um, and I always start my morning off with coffees because especially when I'm in a different time zone, it means it's usually earlier for me because I'm a Pacific time and I'm in the Pacific time normally, and this is East Coast. Um, today is Tuesday, so that means I did have my check-in with my coach, and I just finished actually doing my measurements. I do it normally in a, in a bikini that I have, but today it was just in my underwear, and I have my measuring tape with me, so that's all done. So I feel good about that. I There's actually a really janky gym at this hotel. Maybe I'll show you guys, but I don't feel like going to, I don't feel like going to a janky gym. So I am just uh, going to do some movement in my room, uh, like push-ups and air squats. I did bring my resistance bands. So when I travel, I also try to bring um, some, some of my workout gear so that if I do have an opportunity to lift, I can. This is basically the only workout gear that I brought with me. I brought my wrist straps with me and my resistance band my favorite fit girl resistance band this thing is a no freaking joke guys i'll link the wristbands in the description and the resistance bands in the description box but this is my room my bed's already been slept in i've got some of my stuff sprawled out um i'm not gonna show you my my exploded <laughs> there's my exploded suitcase um but that's it guys i'm gonna go ahead and get some quick movement in and uh yeah i'll see ya hey why don't you show you some push-ups in my robe <laughs> i haven't this is my this is my first workout for the morning so and i told myself that this morning at the very least, I'm going to get 100 push-ups in, so that's my first 10. And I'm going to keep moving around. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to keep moving around. I'm actually, I was thinking about, should I change my workout gear right now? No. I think I'm going to do my workout in my robe because I don't feel like being in workout gear right now. That's, that's it. Oh, and the other thing that I wanted to is I wanted to wash my water bottle so I could start drinking my water. And I do make sure, guys, to bring my vitamins with me. Those are vitamins, a couple of my probiotics, B12 in there to keep my brain sharp. This is Clean Machine Protein Powder. They were so kind enough to send me um, some protein powders and some BCAA. So I brought the protein powders with me just because I didn't have time to make all the protein that I wanted to, so that's my backup source. 
All right, I'm gonna go wash this bottle and then I'm gonna do more push-ups and air squats. So I'm off and I'm ready for work. It's supposed to be a snowstorm today, so I'm a little bundled up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have my clip bar with me and my empty bottle of water that I'm gonna fill up at the restaurant. So guys, I'm done with work for the day, but I still need to get some steps in because I've just been sitting pretty much the whole day. It's snowing outside and being me, the klutz that I am, I have no idea how I can lift weights, but being the klutz that I am, I would slip and fall and probably break something. So I'm pacing in my room because, well, I also don't feel like changing to go to the janky gym <laughs> in the hotel, but I feel like I need to get some more movement in. I know that I haven't gotten my... Whoa, 5,000 steps for the day, so, ooh, look, it's snowing. <laughs> California girls don't really know what that's like on a day-to-day -day basis. You guys have seen me before. Just getting my steps in. Good morning guys. I'm in a bit of a rush this morning. I had my alarm set for 6 a.m. and I didn't wake up until 8. I guess my body was telling me that I needed to sleep. So I shall listen to my body. But when I travel guys, one of the tips, the huge tips I have is always bring an empty water bottle. And the reason being is after security, after going through the airport and security line, you can easily fill up your water, so that's like, what, seven bucks saved, because if you buy a bottle, they're expensive. And then, uh, when you're in the airplane, um, the flight attendants will actually fill up your entire bottle for you. They kind of just do that by default, too, so you don't have to ask awkwardly, can you fill it all the way up to the top? You know, you just ask them, can you, can you, can you give me water and show your bottle, and they'll give it to you. I don't know if they like it. I don't know if they get annoyed by it, but really, like when you're playing, does it mean you should be drinking less water, right? Um, and in fact, to some extent, you should maybe be drinking more water. Um, and it's better than continually going back to them and asking them to fill up your, <laughs> or it's for a new glass of water. So that's one tip I have for you guys. I also make sure to bring my weighing scale. So that's with me all the time. Oh my gosh, guys, I feel so sore from not moving around yesterday. I ate my normal amount of macros. I haven't worked out in three days, had a proper workout in three days. And I didn't really move around yesterday. I just feel so swollen from it. That's just how my my body in particular responds. Okay. I'm gonna keep doing my makeup. I'm gonna get ready and see if I can actually still have time to make it to the grocery store. I'm gonna get some water in my body. If you don't know, I usually start out with a full bottle of water like that, usually that bottle, every morning at home or when I'm traveling. I also have coffee that I've already made, espresso. Normally, I would actually make more protein to bring with me, but I, I didn't. So I finished the lemon bread already yesterday. What I have left are my protein cookies. Oh, boo me. <laughs> And I have protein powder. And I actually also got an apple from the restaurant downstairs. They didn't have very many vegan options. They had like Cheerios and some other fruit and whatnot. But um, I stole an apple. Or I took an apple. Actually, maybe I'll just go there instead of going to the grocery store to just get some fruit. Maybe that's what I'll do. All right. I'm going to keep getting ready. Guys, I'm so swollen. Can you tell? You can tell. That'll go down though. The way, because 
here's here's my thinking on it or this is how I process it because I haven't been getting as much movement as I normally would I haven't gotten the workouts that I want to um, I will actually eat less than my full amount of macros that are assigned to me today because I can also feel I can feel my skin stretching right now I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but like after some time of being just so diligent about paying attention to how my body feels I can actually feel it responding to my macronutrients or the foods that I'm eating like my shins right now you, I, I won't show you because you're not gonna see anything but my shins right now feel like they're slightly like the skin is like straight slightly stretching like it feels a little crawly my cheeks when I smile it feels tighter um, and my fingers feel swollen I could just do this and know that they're a bit swollen um, so my plan of attack today is listen I don't care if I have to be in all-day meetings bathroom is right there I'm gonna go to the bathroom as much as I want because I'm gonna drink as much water as I want because if I want to get rid of some of this retention some of it I think is water retention from just being too tired and the other one is uh, eating my normal amount of macros and not having worked out for three days so hopefully tonight when I get back into the hotel, I'll have enough energy to have some movement. Maybe I'll just do some push-ups, running in place, all that kind of stuff, just to just to get my body some sort of movement. And maybe what I'll actually do before I get dressed is I'll just run in place for like a couple of minutes here right now, because every movement counts, guys, it really does. But rest also counts a lot. And I've had some really crappy rest lately. Like the other night, I slept for an hour and a half. The night before that, I slept for three hours. It's just, I'm constantly on the go. Uh, and I just have so many things that I always want to accomplish that I always just want to do something. Or like, I feel like there's always something that I can do that like, I choose to sleep less to do these things. Since about college, I started really just thinking a lot all the time. I feel so uncomfortable with how swollen I am right now. Like, not uncomfortable in the sense of like, oh my gosh, people will think I'm fat. But like, my skin feels uncomfortable. <laughs> like, it just, it just feels stretchy. I'm running in place while I'm finishing the rest of my getting readiness. <laughs> and it's just because I feel like I need to get my body moving. I know this kind of looks funny, guys, but like, especially if you're prepping for a bodybuilding show, these are the kind of things you have to be, just be diligent on if you're trying to get your steps. Um, if you need to get your steps in, you may be doing something like this. Um, if I was prepping for a bodybuilding show, my mind would have woken me up at 5 a.m. so I could have gone to the gym for sure, no doubt. But because I'm not, my body, I think, was just like, yeah, you need to stay in bed and rest. So it kept me sleeping. I think I've had a bottle and a half of water already. Do I look less swollen to you guys? The power of a little bit of makeup. But no, I still feel I still feel swollen. My shins feel stretchy. Ooh, okay. Another recommendation I have for you all is always bring a sandwich bag that is empty. The reason for it is when you bring your protein in bulk, what you can do is you can weigh out the amount of protein or like snacks that you want for the day and just have that sandwich bag that you can put it up in. I just keep reusing the same one over and over again. If you have a weighing scale, you know your food scale, you know that it turns on just by a click of a button. So when you put in your laptop bag, which I do, it'll turn on a bunch of times and the scale will actually die quicker. So what I do to just make sure it doesn't die is I flip one of the batteries when I put it in my bag just so it can't accidentally turn on. 
hope that's a good tip for you guys. I'm just going to get a couple of push-ups in. I decided, because we have a team dinner tonight, and I don't know if I'm actually going to get to work out, so I'm just decided I'm going to do 100 push-ups total today. I think that was 20. I wanted to give you guys a couple of tips that I thought about. When I travel, I normally, especially when I'm closer to competition because I have more containers with me, I'll bring a small Tupperware, like a small Tupperware with like half of a sponge and dishwashing soap in it. Because I can use that to easily wash out my water bottles, my other containers, etc, etc. The other thing that I normally bring with me too is an electric frother. Because if I have to rely on protein powder to make shakes, um, it's an easy way to just really mix in your protein powders without having to bring the giant shaker with you everywhere. Alright guys, I gotta get to work. I'm off to work. I've got a couple of my cookies in hand with me while I walk. So I know that's about 16 grams of protein, so about 20 grams of protein-ish. I'm going to head to that restaurant get a couple of fruits. I'll show you what they have laid out. They don't have a lot of vegan options, and I also don't feel like eating a ton of food where I don't know for sure what the macros are, like breads they have, and they may not be vegan. So this, this is the spread they have, guys. It is That's a lot of meat and eggs. And fruits that probably has a ton of sugar in it, so I'm not going to take that. I am going to take an orange and an apple. I don't feel like having cereal. I could have those as an option, too. Um, and these are breads that I don't know are vegan. I don't know the macros, so I'm not going to eat those. And that's it. don't slip oh actually this is not bad at all hey there's no cars so it's about 5 45 p.m. I just actually got out of my meetings we're about to head to team dinner I went up into my room <laughs> just to um, drop my stuff off and wind a little bit eating some of my protein cookies just to get my protein I'm pacing just to get some walking in and guys we did have a couple of drinks already and do know I did track my my wine um, but the thing is, with most macronutrient tracking apps, they only track your carbs. What most people fail to realize is alcohol per gram is, alcohol is actually another type of macronutrient. Alcohol per gram has seven calories. Carbs, protein, have four calories per gram. Fat has nine calories per gram. And alcohol has seven calories per gram. So you may have to kind of just um, manually calculate that into your um, macronutrient tracking app, but just keep that in mind. Don't want to cheat yourself on something that you're working so hard towards. This is what one of my protein cookies looks like. I'm going to work this recipe a little bit more because uh, I can taste the baking soda just a little bit. But other than that, it's really super good and easy to travel, travel with. I mean, it keeps shape. It's like dense can see. I'm trying to squeeze it and it's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> good morning, guys. It's like 5 a.m. right now, 5, 16 a.m. right now. Can you see that? I don't know, it's backwards. 5, 16 a.m. Eastern time. I actually had my alarm on for like 6 a.m. But then I just woke up at 4.45. I just don't know why. Sometimes my mind just races and I wake up. No, actually I lie. This morning I just had to pee. <laughs> and then I couldn't get back to sleep. Hey guys, where is the camera? Oh. <laughs> uh, since I woke up earlier than I needed to, I figured I'd just have a sit down and chat at ya. You don't get to talk back to me. <laughs> just kidding, friends. You can talk back to me in the comments below if you want. Um, anywho, all joking aside, um, I figured I'd just chat with you guys about some other considerations I have or maybe how my trip is going and just talk at you and just let it flow out of my mouth. Oh, here's what I wanted to show you. Is I use this guy every day at home. I use this guy when I travel. I use this guy all the time. 
the things that I always travel with. Sometimes I have biotin with me. I actually ran out, so I don't have biotin. Biotin is great for, like, I use vegan biotin, of course, duh. Great for hair, nails, that kind of thing. But everybody's been getting sick when they travel, so I have just airborne with me. I know I need to be make, taking multiple uh, airborns a day, but I don't. I just brought one a day with me, and I'm okay with that. Let's hope I don't get sick. Multivitamin, of course. This one is my... I have two probiotics. I think the smaller one is the one for the gut, and the other one is the one for the women. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And this is just B12. Great for energy, brain, focus. The last couple of weeks, guys, I've been just super busy. I choose to knowingly deprioritize just how much I prep my food for this trip. What I did is I made the cookies and the lemon bread that I showed you guys. And yeah, that's fine. And I knew I was going to be short on protein and I made that decision. Um, to, and I was okay with being low on protein and just deciding that I'll go to the store and get some source of protein. So that's what I'm going to do after I do like some quick movement workouts at Janky Gym and the hotel. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I just, you know, I just don't know how people take me seriously. <laughs> well, thanks for taking me seriously, friends. But so. yesterday, guys, I did wake up swollen just because I, um, you know, haven't been working out. I haven't had my normal schedule for the last few days. And do I feel swollen? Yes. Do I feel slightly, like, skin stretchy still today? Yes. Um, will the workout that I'm about to have help with that? Yes, absolutely. I did a better job yesterday of continually drinking water, although I had to pee so many times. I had to get up, go pee, get up, go pee. Excuse I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> and then I also made it a point during the meeting to just stand. I didn't necessarily pace in the room because I think that's just like anxiety causing for other people if I was just pacing in the room, but I did stand, I did keep my body moving because I think there's something, there's something about like, if I'm sitting, which I'm sitting right now, and you know, you're kind of just sometimes in a slouch position, but like when you stand, there's something, your, your spine alignment, and there's something about just your, getting your body straight that just helps out, right? And just getting all the fluids in your body moving, and sometimes what I'll do, and that's because I have a pretty chill work environment, Instead of sitting down normally in a chair, I'll just stand up and then I'll end up like this at some point in the meeting. And I'll just I'll just talk like this because it feels better on my back. And now if I if I was with clients or something like that or where the situation was far more formal, of course I wouldn't take that approach. But oh, I'm sinking. <laughs> I wouldn't take that approach, but I have a really cool team, a chill team, and so um, my boss is amazing, you know, my coworkers are amazing, so, like, people are just, we're kind of just on the same wave, like, in, in terms of, like, work culture, um, so, uh, for the people that are going to ask, I'm in tech, uh, Silicon Valley tech girl. <laughs> okay. So I did bring my food scale with me to lunch and to dinner. And I did get the question, what is that? <laughs> um, and it's really easy. Like, once I tell people oh, I'm a bodybuilder, I just have to track my food. And they're like, oh, okay. And some of them will just, you know, I, you will sometimes get the stare of like, oh, just, just because people are curious, guys. So if you ever do track your food, you have to be okay with looking like the oddball. Because <laughs> who the heck else weighs their food? <laughs> Uh, but you have to be okay with looking like an oddball. Um, and if you're uncomfortable with it, what I'd recommend for you guys is come up with your one-liner that describes why you bring a food scale. So many of you are not bodybuilders, so you wouldn't say you're a bodybuilder, but just say it's for my fitness plan or it's part of my fitness program. I just track my food. Right? Don't be snobby about it. Don't, you know. And if people have questions, answer their questions. Because people are just curious, right? We're curious by nature. I haven't come across anybody that, like, 
told me I was stupid for tracking my food. Because at the end of the day, the results <laughs> um, show themselves, right? Like, I'm a strong girl. I'm fluffier right now than I was prepping for a show because, yes, obviously prepping for a show, um, you get leaner and leaner. And so I'm I'm undoing, like, the things that I'm, I'm getting fluffier because I'm eating more food so that I can lift more and have more energy and feel amazing, except I don't get sleep. <laughs> Last night I got four hours of sleep. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is when I wake up in the morning, so you know how sometimes you wake up in the morning and you're like, eh, it's the morning. <laughs> what I do, guys, is I pause, I start putting screens on. And screens, I mean like my iPad, my iPhone, and I think the, it just wakes me up. And I don't know if you guys are the same way, but you... <laughs> Can you see my subscription list? <laughs> I look at... James Charles, Dr. Sandley, Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> Guilty Pleasure, Tati Meditations by Rasa. Pump Chasers, Gary Vee, Nikki Tutorials, Malibu, Roberto Blake, Ted Talks, mm, Graveyard Girl, Sarah's Day, John Venus, Chanel Collette. Um, just a bunch of different people, and I'll just pick whatever, like, mood I'm feeling, or whatever I think is gonna, like, motivate me for that day, or just keep me, maybe if I'm feeling stressed out, maybe I'll just keep me in a chill mode, right? Some of these channels are just in my subscription box, because honestly, their content is so purposely mindless that it's relaxing for me like graveyard girl sitting there enjoying her content or listening her talking to her unboxing of like random things that she bought on amazon <laughs> anywho guys okay i'm gonna get my day started have a great day Unswole. Unswole feels like my muscles depleted. Well, it probably did because I haven't. <laughs> no, it didn't. But I still haven't worked out as heavy as I want. In fact, I'm having a deload per the recommendation of my wonderful coach. But I did want to show you guys what I bought at the grocery store yesterday to make sure that I still hit proteins uh, for today and yesterday, especially since I am traveling today and may have a hard time finding stuff in the airport. So I was just walking around, uh, meeting with my, my co-workers and my boss. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun with my colleagues last night. We went out drinking, and because I'm not prepping for an sh upcoming show, um, I just had fun. I slept at 4, woke up at 7, like, oh, I haven't felt like this in a while. But it's already 8, and I'm already like this. So I guess it's all right. Let me go ahead and... Can I just flip this screen? I found... Um, green peas, which I love green peas, fresh especially, um, chickpeas, and I'll show you the macros in a bit, and a bunch of protein bars, and this is not truly a protein bar, but it's, these are vegan bars. So these chickpeas, the reason why I like them, or green peas, pea pops, the reason why I like them is because they're low in fat. So 1.5 grams of fat per serving, 18 grams of carbs, and six grams of protein always make sure that you guys know how many servings are in a bag don't look at my bad manicure lack thereof there are uh, there's 28 grams per serving and this bag is 90 grams these all have pretty similar macros the chickpeas uh, I bought because I just really love chickpeas but if you look it has three grams of fat versus the 1.5 in the other one I did get protein bars because I just, I love bars. It's one of my cravings sometimes. The thing with these protein bars, guys, is these are really dense 
foods. So 27 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat. So I only will have these if I have like a chocolate craving or if I really need protein and I have a bunch of other like fats available. These are kind of just like rice crisp bars. Um, if you look at the first ingredient, oh sorry, oats, gluten-free oats, like it's a oatmeal kind of bar. Um, but these are things that I have with me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pack probably a few of these with me on the plane. I'll be honest with you, because uh, we did go out last night, I just sat on my bed and ate like three bars. Uh, I think I ate two of these guys, and I obviously ate half of this guy, <laughs> and another bar somewhere, and I finished a bag <laughs> of peas because peas please that's not something I do on a normal basis guys but I did walk around a ton yesterday oh I did hot yoga with my boss yesterday that was amazing um that was the first time I ever did it so yesterday I felt like a lot I got a lot of movement and my body could be replenished by some additional food so I didn't feel bad eating more and I also don't want to be hung over today I'm a little bit hungover, but I don't want to be so hungover today that I couldn't be productive for the half day I'm going to be at work because I'm here for work and I need to be productive. Anywho, guys, I have to keep packing and I'm about to head to the try to head to the gym to show you guys or maybe try to better record how to use hotel equipment at the gym, at Janky Gym. Janky Gym. Bye, guys. I figured I would just talk you through as I clean up before I check out. I do use re these reusable sandwich bags because I don't want to throw away every single time. I'm just going to record guys while, while I uh, check out and clean up and I'll just kind of talk you through my thought process. I actually like to do this thing guys where I clean up the room. It helps me assure that I haven't missed anything. Do you know what I mean? This is me starting to do my sweep, what I call a sweep. Pull over all, each of the blankets. Nothing there. Okay, everything goes back on. Hey guys, where's the camera? There. Okay, I check on the floors, make sure. Ooh, I'm always scary to see what's under these floors. Nothing is on the floor. I haven't dropped anything here. I know I didn't use these drawers, but I'm going to check anyway. I use fridges. Did I leave anything there? Nope. I checked everything. Okay, so I feel good about my sweep. It's 8.34. I guess I'll just bring my stuff to the gym. So let me show you guys really quickly. This is the hotel gym, right? It's really small, but it's got some stuff. Over there are some little baby weights. The max it goes is 8 pounds. So I'm not really going to mess with those too much. If anything, I would use those for side lateral raises for adults and just do really slow motions, more of like kind of a resistance training because it's just not heavy enough for me to do normal reps unless I did like 100 reps. But this is the machines that are kind of daunting for a lot of people, right? Certainly daunting for me. If you guys saw my last video, you'll see this pin actually j plopped out and it made the whole thing sound like it crashed, this pin. So I'm gonna just show you for a moment how all the different, a lot of the different workouts that are available with this machine. So this machine has a lap pull down bar. Okay. Can you see this lap pull down bar? A lot of times, guys, it'll it might have a hook. All these machines are different in the hotel, so you just have to take a moment to kind of assess what you have in your machines. They have these hooks for purposes because these are multi-purpose machines and so they put that for safety reasons so the bar isn't hanging all the time. This here, guys, is a chest press. It goes like this. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend for you guys to use a camera while you're doing this, but I'm just trying to demo it for you guys. Then here is leg extensions. The same weight stack applies for all of these exercises, okay? This is leg extensions. 
that goes over and under. Always look to see if you can adjust your seats back and forth. You'll have to play with all these notches down here. Uh, I couldn't get them to budge yesterday, so I'm not even going to try. There's another notch over here, that yellow one. But what I do anyways, because I couldn't get it to budge, is I'll grip myself to the seat, because I always still want my um, body stable, leg extensions. But when you're doing the leg extensions, make sure to unhook anything. You'll fumble around with this. This is... So, I'll show you what that is in a bit. So this is leg extensions, right? If you're usually doing higher weights and you can't at these gyms because you're confined to just how much how small the weight stack is on these machines, slower your reps. My my glutes are totally in, are not my glutes. My quads are pretty engaged right now. These machines also have stickers, so you could look at those as well and just sit there and digest it. I could use it somewhat as a, as a back row. If it was a lighter weight, I could also probably do some sort of row like this or um, fly, I guess. I found this guy hiding behind here to do something like, I'm guessing this is for some sort of crunch. Yep. These are really multi-purpose machines. I showed you guys this. Sometimes things are locked into each other, clipped into each other. Curls. Shoulders. I would do this with both hands, but I'm holding with a camera. But anyways, guys, there are a ton of things you can do with these machines. You just have to take a moment to really look at the setup, all of the stickers. And I call these janky gyms because they just have way less equipment than I do with my normal gym. But in reality, guys, a lot of these gyms actually have fair amount of equipment just with one of these multi-purpose machines so just take some time and it's okay if you fumble or something and you don't look, know what you're doing nobody knows what they're doing with these hotel gyms it's all right at least you're trying all right guys so i'm officially getting out of this hotel i hope this was helpful guys see ya now in Montreal and uh, this is it this is the last leg of my trip I'm gonna find some food or maybe guys I was able to get a cucumber and avocado sushi roll and a veggie bowl guys, I'm back home in the bay. Uh, when I was waiting for my luggage, I was just walking around pacing in the baggage claim just to get my body moving in. If you want to see more content from this mug, hit the subscribe button. If you want to get notified when this baby girl posts a video, hit that notification bell right next to it. If you're not already following me on Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, follow me if you want to. And hit that like button, guys, if this is the kind of content that's helpful for you, because that tells me that I should keep making videos like this. Alright guys, I uh, hope that was helpful. Have a great day. See ya.